Recently, an Indian Air Force C-295, a tactical airlift aircraft, made its first successful landing on the Navi Mumbai Airport. The aircraft is first of the 56 that are going to be acquired by the Indian Air Force. The aircraft is produced by CASA, a Spanish aircraft manufacturer that comes under the Airbus Group. The first 16 aircrafts are going to be sourced directly from Spain and then the rest 40 aircraft are going to be produced by Tata Advanced System in their Vadodara plant from 2026. Now talking about Vadodara, Vadodara is home to the number 11 squadron of the Indian Air Force called the Charging Rhinos. And this will be the first squadron to get this aircraft. Uh, coincidentally, the number 25 squadron called the Himalayan Eagles equipped with the old Antonov 32 aircraft is also housed in Vadodara Air Force Station. Now this aircraft will replace the aging Avro HS748 aircraft that are with the number 11 squadron of the Indian Air Force. In terms of capability, the C-295 surpasses the HSN-48 immensely with twice the range and 1.5 to 1.6 times the cargo capacity. But other than the obvious reasons, the main reason the C-295 has been acquired by the IEF is its ability to land in on unpaved airstrips and roads, so giving it versatility and a unique capability. Also, the aircraft only needs about 900 meter of airstrip to take off and only about one kilometer of airstrip to land, making it a short takeoff and short runway landing aircraft. Now, this aircraft, as you can see on the map, has a range of about 1700 to 1800 kilometers when we are talking about maximum payload capacity. Now, as you can see on the map, it can easily access the Western Theater Command and the Maritime Theater Command when it comes to its capability. Also, the other important aspect of this aircraft is its ability to carry troops. So, it can carry about 50 paratroopers and about 70 normal infantry troops. Now, the other main reason why the a C-295 has been acquired, other than the obvious reasons I've explained before, is that the C-295 is going to be allotted to the Special Operations Divisions of our dry services. About four of these aircrafts are going to be exclusively allotted to the Special Operations Divisions Division. Now, the Special Operations Division is a special theater command of the dry services that encompasses the three tier one special forces of our tri services the para sf the marine commandos and the garuds of the air force it also has some battalions of the sikh ally and maratha ally uh, regiments which act as support elements for our special forces also going to use these these aircraft are the special frontier force and the special group which are based out of sarsawa so i won't be of saranpur See, see, uh, see some C-295s flying over the city in the near future. But right now, our need for transport aircraft is much more than just the C-295. Although the C-295 gives us a clear improvement in our tactical airlift capabilities, but we still have the old Antonov 32s to replace. Other than that, we have tactical airlifters like the C-17 and the IL-78. IL-78 being deployed with the number 44 squadron called the Mito Jets and the C-17 with the number 81 squadron called the Skylords. But in terms of capability, China is very fast approaching a stage where it has surpassed us immensely with its Y-20 aircraft, with the WS-20 engines and some say with the new uh, engine replacements for the Y8 and Y9 and also a new aircraft, the Y30 on the horizon, which will be an aircraft equivalent to the C-130, which we also possess. So in terms of that, the China Chinese Air Force will have a greater capability. So how much time our government and our tri-services take to equalize that capability, it's yet to see. And if you want videos on another, uh, on further explaining these uh, uh, 
complicated topics. So you can subscribe and like and you can comment below. Thank you.